radar and satellite imagery shows you that the convection, the thunderstorms really blowing up along the center of Faye. It has been strengthening somewhat and could strengthen a little bit more before it makes the landfall tomorrow. Right now, maximum sustain winds 45 miles per hour. Pressure has fallen slightly. It was 1,007 millibars at last advisory. It's down to 1,005. It's moving north at 8 miles per hour pretty slowly, but it should start to pick up speed and maximum wind gusts currently at 60 miles per hour. So this system will be pushing in during the morning hours. Future Tracker timing it out at 7 o'clock in the morning. Looks like the very outer rain bands, which will be on the light side, will be over the I-95 corridor, but already by 7 o'clock, starting to see the heavier bands of rain pushing in along the Jersey Shore. By lunchtime, this is when it's really pouring across interior South Jersey. Some moderate to heavy rain near Philadelphia, the I-95 corridor. And then as we head into the afternoon, this heaviest rain will begin to push across our northern suburbs, the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley. And then by about 9 o'clock tomorrow night, it's all moving out, just a few lingering showers. Future Tracker showing we are getting a drenching rainstorm, generally about 1 to 3 inches of rain, but this is showing that we could have a few pockets locally more than that close to four inches. When you get that heavy rain in a period of about 10 to 12 hours, the ground is very dry. It has a tough time absorbing it, so that's why we could see some of that localized flooding. Future tracker showing tomorrow morning big problem with the winds along the shore. Wind gusts anywhere from about 35 to close to 50 miles per hour. That easterly wind ahead of the actual storm. Once that storm passes and the winds shift, they will be dying off by the afternoon. So I really think the strongest winds will be the first half of the day. So the I-95 metro area, this is a rainstorm. And since it's going to be falling so heavily, there is a risk of flash flooding. Poor drainage areas, some of the smaller creeks and streams. I don't think that this is a problem where we're going to see widespread river flooding. It's just not that kind of storm. Eastern New Jersey, though, a concern about the winds up to about 50 miles per hour, and also there could be an isolated spin up of a weak tornado depending on the track. If that track is a little bit farther inland, a better chance of that. So, the exclusive AccuWeather 70 forecast we have an AccuWeather alert for Tropical Storm Fay with that drenching rain. The high tomorrow only 80 degrees, cool thanks to the clouds and the rain. Don't get used to it. Saturday back up to 91 degrees. It'll be humid. A front could touch off a few afternoon thunderstorms, not a washout. Sunday back to that summer sizzle 93. Monday 92, officially heat wave number two, but this heat wave will be extended right through the end of the week by Thursday up to 95 degrees. And looks like temperatures in the 90s through next weekend. Of course, David Murphy will be tracking Tropical Storm Fay on Action News tomorrow morning, beginning at four. Jim. Thank you, Cecily.